Good evening, everyone. I hope everybody is doing well. Just wanted to come on and chit-chat about my kayaking trip today. Um, I started not to go this morning because I've been having trouble with my legs uh, hurting and swelling. Um, I went to the doctor yesterday with it and they gave me some water pills to try to get the swelling down. And, uh, they're not doing much better. Um, but anyway, um, we left the house this morning at about 8.30. We traveled for approximately an hour to get to the destination, the rendezvous point. And the place was called the Redneck Yacht Club. It honestly was, I swear. And, um... What you do is you go in with your kayaks and you pay $5 each person if you own a kayak. And um, you put your kayaks out right there where you pay at. And then you drive your vehicle to the rendezvous point at the end, um, which is about, honey, it is miles and miles and miles away it took us four and a half hours to go down this creek called terrapin creek but anyway you put your truck in or your vehicle in uh, you park it where you're going to get out at and um, a shuttle bus brings you back from where you left your vehicle to where your kayak kayaks are waiting to put in so we went with a couple um that my husband has known the guy for years but he's been dating this girl for a couple of years and um anyway uh anyway so we put our kayaks in the water and we started off now, mind you, the only kayaking that I have done is on waveless water, uh, except for the waves that a boat would make, and that was only one time. I have been on waveless water, you know, clear, steady water. This had rapids, so... When we put in ten, five minutes after we put in, we hit our first rapids, and I got stuck on the rocks, of course. Um, but I got my, I just used my uh, kayak paddle. That is really long, and it has a paddle on each end. And I used it as a stick to wedge it into the rocks and pushed myself out of those rocks. And uh, we hit rapids probably about 10 to 15 times during the four and a half hours. And um, I got stuck two or three times. But anyway, when I got stuck the first time, my boat got sideways and water was coming in. And I was freaking out because I had never done this before and I was ready to put my life jacket on that I had strapped to the back of my boat but no one else was using theirs so I carried on I thought hopefully this won't get much worse and then the guy and the girl that was with us said that was as worse as it comes the first rapids was pretty much the worst one so we um we traveled down the creek for about an hour or so, and then we pulled over and got out and had our lunch. And uh, we put in at about 10 o'clock in the morning. We ate our lunch around 11, and um, then we put back in again. And I left, I forgot my phone here at home where I was going to do some footage. I haven't as of yet to get any kayak footage. But anyway, so we traveled down Terrapin Creek for four and a half hours, um, constantly rowing. I rowed for four and a half hours, except for every once in a while, because at Terrapin Creek, 
the current pulls you. Um, it's mostly downhill. So the current pulls you, but you're constantly rowing to keep yourself straight and steady um, because there's rocks all down through there. Um, so I rode for four and a half hours, and oh my goodness, am I ever sore now, and my legs are killing me, but I had, I had the best time, it was great, I had a wonderful time, and uh, I'm glad that I went and did not stay home, because my husband got ready to go this morning at 10 minutes before the people got here to our house. I was like, okay, I'm going to go. And I had 10 minutes to get ready, get my bathing suit on, get all my stuff that I was going to need packed up, get Monk Monk back in his cage, get my cat some food set out outside. Uh... It was just, it was crazy this morning. I had to get my river shoes on, my bathing suit, um, fix me a sandwich, and get my chips and stuff. So, um, yeah, we went to the Redneck Yacht Club uh, today in Piedmont, Alabama. It, it was a blast. It, it really was. But the girl of the couple that was with us kept running off and leaving us. And we didn't know the way. So whenever she would disappear, we would just let the current take us the right direction. Um, because it, the creek only flowed one way downhill. And I thought that um, since they uh, had been there before and this was our first time going that they should have been more um, they should have helped us you know maneuver and guide us down through the creek because there was a lot of twists and turns and this one time they were out of sight and uh, we didn't know whether to go left or right so we chose to go to the right because there was a lot of leaves in the water over to the left. Therefore, not a lot of boats went through, we thought. So we went to the right. Well, we went the right way, but they had gone the other way, which has got another rapid, and they got stuck. Um, so we met up with them because they got stuck. So it was a good time, and um, I love my kayak. I paid a hundred and sixty bucks for it, and it was worth every single penny. Every single penny. Now, when I get my back fixed to where my legs are not so screwed up, I'm sure that I will enjoy it more. I had major back surgery back on December the 29th and had two spacers, which are two artificial discs and two clamps put into my back, my lower back. And um, I had to wear a back, back brace for a long time and an hour a day each day, I had to wear a fusion belt. So they would fuse to my artificial spacers would fuse to my bone. Something went wrong. Something is not right. Uh, I'm going to go see another doctor next week. Um, Dr. White. About my back. And I'm sure that I will enjoy my kayaking trips a whole lot more. Once I get myself straightened out. But I just wanted to come on and share it with you. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to tell everybody about it because I had such a good time. So anyway, everybody be safe, be kind to one another, and I will see y'all again real soon here on my channel. I want to thank my sub new subscribers for subscribing, and I want to thank my old subscribers for sticking with me for so long. Um, everybody have a wonderful evening, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, I'll see you soon. 
Bye bye, everybody. Let me figure out how to turn this off. Hmm.